Hi everybody, I'm Susie, Intuitive. This is your weekly forecast reading for the 6th of April 2020. So this reading is going to have a look at what you can expect this week, things you can focus on, things that will give you clarity, insight, empowerment and all of that goodness. Please do like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to know how these readings resonate with you, um, what you take from them, from them uh, any aha moments that you have, anything that you're going to take action on as well. Do please leave in the comments because I'd love to be able to support you and to help you through the difficult times that we're all experiencing at the moment. So as usual, I have three decks of cards. Deck one deck two and deck three. Deck one has a beautiful green crystal, deck two a beautiful blue crystal and deck three a beautiful purple crystal. So I will give you a couple of moments just to tune in and see which deck you are drawn to this week and what messages you need to hear to help you move forwards this week. Okay, so let's start with deck one. Have a look at the cards. Okay, so you have the three of wands, the four of coins, your universe has your back card, is the moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. You have the masculine, energy. Oh, there's another card there. You have the eagle. See from a higher perspective. You have the warrior. Be fearless and stand strong. Base chakra. Authority. Choose wisely. Your crystal is tourmalated quartz. Are you a slave to technology? Are you being bombarded by too many electromagnetic frequencies? Amplify the protection from these draining forces by reconnecting with the earth. Take periodic break from electronics and re-energize yourself. And then you have the angel of energy fields. And the affirmations that go with this is, I am grounded and focused. I enjoy relaxing in nature to regenerate and rejuvenate my energy field. My body easily deflects electromagnetic frequencies in my environment. I balance my life with fresh air and sunshine. And finally, you have the shark, okay, which is lead as a powerful, peaceful warrior. Okay, so let's have a look and see what your messages are for today. I'm just going to move the other decks slightly out of the way. Okay, so your messages are for this week. Okay, so it is time to make a choice. You do feel a little bit out of balance this week, deck one. Okay, so with everything that's going on in the world, I think we all feel a little bit out of balance at times so it is important to focus in on your base chakra okay your base chakra is your energy center that is right at the bottom of your spine okay and it's all about our earthly needs okay so um, our survival um, any any issues around money will show up here um, it's about the physical body um, as well so um, safety, shelter, you know, all of those kind of things all stem from our base chakra. So if we're fearful about what's going on in the world, then you may find that you have um, some issues that are related to your base chakra. Okay, so this would be a really, really good time to um, heal your base chakra. You'll be able to find videos on YouTube. Um, you can use a red crystal to help clear and cleanse your base chakra. Okay, so it is talking about, you know, issues that are going on around us. There's a lot of issues going on um, in the world right now. So our base chakras can, you know, really be 
out of sync okay and what I'm seeing here is that it is time to start moving forward so you're probably um, a very energetic person so maybe an empath or you know the things that are going on in the world you really do sadden you so that's going to be draining your energy so it's going to be important that you're really working on your energy at the moment that you're doing things that will rejuvenate and re-energize you so you're probably sending healing out to the world, um, you know, being um, a good listener or a good counsel for different people. So whatever form that is taking, it is time to re-energize yourself and take care of your own energy. And it's when we do this that we can have more energy to help more people. We have to take care of ourselves first. OK, you know, if you think about um, when you give life support, um, CPR to someone you take the breath first before giving to the other person so it is really really important that your energy is in the right place okay that you are regaining your own energy and the more that you do this the more that you'll have time and energy for other people so your energy is really really important so connecting with your base chakra have a look at what's going on um, in your life. Are you really, really fearful, anxious, and all of those energies? Because they're going to show up in your in your base chakra and your sacral chakra. Okay, so really working on your base chakra this week. Okay, it's time to step perhaps a little bit more into the masculine. Okay, because I feel that you're um, an empath, an energy worker, light worker. You're giving a lot of your energy away, and that is very feminine okay that's your feminine energy so it is time and it is important to step into your masculine as well so your masculine is um the the worker the uh the study the learning new things and that kind of energy okay so looking for solutions okay looking for ways that you can move forwards so you want your masculine and your feminine to be balanced so what i'm feeling is at the moment, there's a lot of feminine energy going on, okay, so the masculine needs to come in to balance that out a little bit more, okay, so look at ways that you can help, that you can help your community, that you can help your friends and family, or that you can help the world and set a plan around that, okay, so um, here's the lunar god, um, and he is very, very masculine. So finding um, different ways that you can work to help raise your energy and I can never do this <laughs> work on your base chakra. OK, you know, there's so much going on in the world. There's so many rules, regulations. It is important that we follow them. We're not in quarantine just for fun. OK, there's a reason that we need to be in quarantine. So it is important that you follow those rules and regulations and that you encourage uh, people around you to follow those rules and regulations um, as well, because it's when we all start to work together that we can start to put a stop to this virus and other things that are going on around us. So be an authority in your energy, okay? And th the shark also talks about this, okay? Because it says, lead as a powerful, peaceful warrior, okay? And he is very peaceful. He's very stern, but he's very peaceful as well. So lead by example, okay? You do have a job to do here. You've also got warrior as well. So these really do um, all link together. OK, so be fearless and stand strong as well. You've got something to teach. OK, that's really, really important. Um, the way that you come across, the way that you teach your your tribe, your your family members, your children, you know, whoever um, it is right now. I do feel that you've got a deeper purpose, which is about leadership and helping um, move forwards from you know, this disaster uh, in, in helping lead people into something far more positive okay and I do feel that at the moment maybe you're not quite seeing how you can do that but the ego comes in to say 
um, see things from a higher perspective. So by tuning into your intuition, working with um, an animal spirit, the eagle, you will get the answers that you need to become this fearless leader. Okay, that is going to help people, that's going to help to move forwards from this energy, okay, that we're in at the moment. Okay, so that's really, really important. Just want to check because these are new cards that I have here. Um, so your guidance is to examine your life and decide what brings you satisfaction as well. Bring more of these things into your life so that your wise leadership is founded on a feeling of personal content as well. So whatever's right for you, you need to make that decision. You need to connect to your higher self and really connect in with what is the right way for me to show up to be a leader at this time. And you're being told to choose wisely. Okay, so there are a few different paths that you can take to be able to do this. Okay, so there are lots of choices around you. So being able to step up to be a leader is about making a choice and a decision. Okay, it's about really connecting in with your dreams, which for me, the three of wands talks about um, our dreams, our goals, our wishes, our desires. Okay, it's a fiery card, it's uh, connected to the fire sign, and it is about really reaching for our goals and moving things forward. Okay, so um, this could either be your goals coming towards you or your goals uh, stepping further away from you. Okay, so get really, really clear about what it is that you want to create. Okay, we're all being given this opportunity to relook at our lives to do the things that light us up, to work in different ways, to be leaders, to help our communities, our families and all of those things. So get clear with what your goals are. There is a money issue around you, so probably money mindset in the wrong place. So if you're out of work with the current situation and you're not getting paid, just watch your mindset, okay? Because there's a real fear here around money, which again links in to your base chakra and fears around money. Okay, so do look at your mindset. Everything is going to be okay. We just have to make sure that our mindsets are in the right place to enable us to move forward. Okay, and by working with your energy and energetically working with your mindset and what you're sending out to the universe, that is really, really going to help you in moving forward. Okay, so going back to your dreams okay, the, back, the universe has your back, is the moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me, okay, so, you know, really think about what it is that you want to create, okay, choose your direction wisely, you will be fully supported, you are here to be a leader, a fearless warrior, okay, which shows up in both of those cards. You will need some masculine energy behind you to plan and be able to move things forward. You also need the feminine energy to um, tune into your intuition to get the answers that you need. Work on your energy as well to make sure that your energy is always fulfilled. Work on your base chakra, just make sure that everything's clear there so that you can let go of the money worries that are around you and have a more positive mindset around money, okay? And make sure with your energy that you're not spending too much time, you know, on electronics, phone, computer, all of those kind of things because, you know, now most of us are in lockdown, we have the freedom to be on our phones and our laptops all the time, okay? So make sure that you're doing things that take you away from that from time to time. Of course, if you're learning something new, you're researching something, then that's absolutely fine. But perhaps, you know, turn off the news, turn off the TV, get out in nature. Your spring's here. The weather's fantastic, which is here. <laughs> Hopefully it is in the UK still. 
and in America, um, do things that ignite your soul, okay, and try and stay away from the electronics, okay, and then your affirmations from the angel of energy fields is I am grounded and focused, I enjoy relaxing into nature to regenerate and rejuvenate my energy field. My body easily deflects electromagnetic frequencies in my environment. I balance my life with fresh air and sunshine. Okay, so there are your affirmations as well. So this is all going to help to raise your vibration, raise your energy, raise your connection with um, the earth as well, which is going to be really, really important. So the crystal that you can work with is a terminated quartz. Okay, so they're really, really beautiful stones. So um, perhaps have one by your laptop uh, or in your pocket if you're on the phone all the time. Okay, so quite a lot of information there for you this week and things for you to do, but really do focus in on your energy, how you can raise your vibration, get some time spent out in nature as well. It's all about raising your energy right now and looking at ways that you can become that fearless leader. Okay, so group two, let's have a look at your cards. So you were the, oopsie, the blue crystal. Okay, judgment. The emperor. Through, pra through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. Self-reflection. I am beautiful. She wolf. Unleash the wild within. Earth guardian. Stay rooted and grounded. Mountains. Stand your ground. Emotional loss. Financial and material changes. Sacral Chakra. Kyanite is your crystal. Have you been feeling off kilter? Are you confused? Does life seem chaotic? Continuously align your chakras. Focus your attention on balance. As you regain your center, you can connect with higher wisdom and use your intuition as a daily part of your life. And on the back, you have the angel of alignment. My chakras are balanced and in perfect alignment. I live my life harmoniously and energy flows through me effortlessly. I am a channel of divine wisdom and my intuition is enhanced. I easily connect with the source and all that is. And lastly, you have Ladybird. Accept happiness and good fortune. Okay, so... So I do feel that there are some changes coming in here for you. And I want to start with judgment. Okay, judgment is very much about letting go of our worries, our fears, letting go of the things that we hold grudges for, resentment, bitterness. So it really does represent forgiveness as well. So letting go of all that unforgiveness that you're holding on to so that you can restart from a fresh energy. When we hold on to things that we don't forgive, you know, the hurt and pain that people have caused us, we start to hold on to um, anger, resentment, bitterness, and all of those energies that will start to affect our sacral chakra. Now, our sacral chakra is the energy center where our emotions are stored, okay? So it is our emotions, our desires, our creativity. So we really don't want this chakra to be blocked, okay? We wanna be creative. We want to be um, emotionally stable um, and all of those kind of things that go with the sacral chakra. So the more that you can release, the more that you can let go of, 
the easier it's going to be. There is emotional loss here, so you don't want to be holding on to that in your sacral chakra. You want to be able to release that. You know, we all go through hurt, pain, loss, trauma, and goodness knows what else. And it's the way that we deal with it that um, we show up in our lives. Okay, so it is important to start healing that. Okay, so it's very green card, very connected to your heart center. Okay, so do you start to release that, especially um, if someone hurt you and, you know, that's what the loss was about, that you have hurt and pain. It's time to release that so that you can be free. Okay, when we hold on to um, unforgiveness, that person still has control of our energy. And that's something that's really, really important that you understand is that you're not condoning their actions by forgiving them what you're doing is you're releasing yourself from the hold that they still have over you okay you know if you've lost a partner they've cheated you know whatever it may be by holding on to that and keep thinking about it and how they treated you so badly and how they did this to you you're playing the victim okay and you're still holding on to their energy okay you're still keeping this pain and loss in your life they're off doing their own thing don't you know don't give a second thought to it okay so um don't give them the satisfaction of controlling you anymore forgiveness is really really important you may find even that you need to forgive yourself as well you know that's a really really powerful thing that we can do so forgiveness is definitely key this week and is um you know something that's ongoing as well you can ask your guides, your angels, your supporters in spirit to come in and help you with this. Okay, you don't need to be alone. You've got plenty of spirit supporters that will help you to do this. Okay, once you've released all of this, it's time to focus back on you. Okay, so it is time for some self-reflection. How are you showing up in your life? How are you helping and serving others? What do you need to know? What do you need to do? What's your sole purpose? All of those kind of energies. So, you know, now we've all got this lockdown or quarantine or self-isolation, however you want to see it. We're being given time and opportunity to look at ourselves and look at our lives as well. Okay, you know, when all of this is over, what do you want to be doing? Do you want to be going back to that nine to five job that doesn't pay enough and that you hate? Do you have a job that ignites your soul and you can't wait to get back to work? Really think about, you know, what it is that you want to create. This is your opportunity. This is the only time that life has literally slowed down so that we can really look at what we want, what we want to create, how we're showing up in our lives and all of those energies. Okay, so that is really, really important. It is time to start releasing some of the things that you really, really want to do. So this is She-Wolf, unleash the wild within. Okay, so it is time to discover who you are. So a journey of self-discovery is going to be really, really important for you right now. Discover who you are, what ignites your souls what you're here for, how you're meant to serve, um, what you love doing, how you want to serve people, okay? Start being a little bit more authentic in your life. Create some fun, be creative, learn something new, okay? You now have the opportunity to do that. I'm also feeling that perhaps some work on your self-love, your self-worth is also really, really important at the moment so I am beautiful is a lovely affirmation that you can be using over the coming weeks to really build your self-confidence self-worth self-esteem and self-love okay so perhaps getting some self-love uh, rituals and um, things into place over the coming months so making sure that you are taking time out to look after yourself there's a lot of energy and a lot of color around this card so this is going to be um the start of something new okay i am feeling a shift of energy with this group of cards okay so anyone that chose deck two 
there is a big shift of energy coming in for you okay so perhaps you've been feeling you know a little bit off balance which is not surprising with you know a lot of the things that are going on at the moment but i feel it's a little bit deeper than that okay so your crystal is kyanite have you been feeling off kilter are you confused does life seem a little bit chaotic so continuously align your chakras so you need to work on all your chakras especially your sacral chakra okay you can find um alignment ch chakra alignment um, meditations on youtube so i would highly suggest you do that and then as you regain your center you can connect with higher wisdom and use your intuition as part of your daily life Okay, so that's a really, really good crystal for you to be using. Because I need to be a little bit more grounded and rooted. Okay, so perhaps putting in some grounding meditations are also going to help you right now. Okay, so that you can really start to connect with what it is that you are trying to create. And this one says, through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace on the world okay so it is important that you stand your ground with everything that you are trying to create um as well but also you know standing your ground around the time that you need to yourself this week um the time that you want to learn something new to be outside you know whatever it is you do need to stand your ground with your wants and needs okay of course fitting in other people but making sure that your priorities and your needs are um done first okay and then you have two cards that talk about finances okay so there is a financial change coming in for you okay so the ladybird says accept happiness and good fortune so this is a great time to put a gratitude practice into place so by being grateful for all the things that you already have the universe will send you more things to be grateful for so keep practicing your gratitude okay and uh, the ladybird energy invites you to spread angelic qualities today this will make a difference to those you touch and you may be surprised how people and animals will appreciate it okay so working um with angels be kind to people you know maybe there's something that you can do that an act of kindness that will really help those around you okay and the ladybird also talks about financial changes as well that there's good fortune coming towards you and you have financial and um, material changes coming your way as well but in order to see these we need to work on releasing the things that are holding us back okay so there is a bit of work to do this week Okay, so the more that you can release, especially um, the, the emotional losses that you're feeling um, at the moment, if you can forgive those, release those and focus on more positive things, work on your chakras as well, because this is where, especially your sacral chakra, as this is where um, your emotions are stored. It's time for a little bit of self-discovery. Okay, so rediscovering who you are, a little bit of self-reflection to look at what it is that you want to start creating. Building your self-love, self-worth, self-esteem as well this week. Letting out the authentic you, letting out the wild woman within, you know, do something that ignites your soul, that gets you excited and that is in alignment with who you are. The Earth Guardian asks you to stay rooted while you're doing all of this and to stand your ground with your priorities and what's important to you. Your spirit supporters are helping you, so call on them whenever you need them. Kaonite is um, about realigning your chakras and fo focusing your intention on balancing and regaining your center. 
So through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. So sharing your expertise and um, sending out some um, angelic goodness is really going to help to create some peace for other people. And you have got material and financial gain coming in. So there is some good fortune coming your way this week. So do let me know how that resonates with you. I'd love to see your comments in the box below. Okay, so group three, your cards are the Fool, the Queen of Wands. The presence of love will always cast out fear. My happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. Surrender. Believe. Autumn, release the old and rest. Shield Maiden, make plans and focus. The Medicine Garden, uh, Guardian, sorry, be open to healing information. Triumphant success, victory and success. Your crystal is so delight. Are you experiencing physical? physical inflammations do you get headaches or sinus conditions is a situation in your life inflamed or turbulent use visualization meditation aromatherapy to calm yourself use these tools to experience peace and tranquility angel of calmness i am calm i am at peace i am relaxed and all is well i live a spiritual peace-filled life i sail through life on calm nurturing waters i enjoy Good health, free of inflammation. So that's your angel card. And you have whale as well, which is live as a fully conscious being. Okay, beautiful card. Okay, so I do feel that there's a new journey ahead of you. Perhaps something that you've been putting off for a while through fear. Okay, so you're being asked to surrender your fear to the universe okay you know when we hold on to fear it stops us from doing the things that we want to do okay so it is time to give up your fear to the universe to allow help and support as needed so replace fear with love so the presence of love will always cast out fear okay so this journey ahead of you looks really really exciting okay it's all about the new we've been given this time to really think about our lives to perhaps slow the pace down to do the things that we don't have time for to learn something new whatever it may be and there is a, an exciting new journey ahead of you full of opportunity and possibility but you have to trust in the journey you have to take that leap of faith you have to trust in the journey that the universe is taking you on you have to believe, okay, have faith and belief that the universe knows what it is that you need. And this shows twice as well, okay. So this one says, my happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe, okay. So all three cards are telling you to believe in the journey that the universe is taking you on. Okay, that it does know your purpose. It does know what it is that you need to help you to be successful, to help you to victory and success as well. Okay, but before this new journey begins, you need to clear out the old. Okay, you know, this is a great time for reflection. It's a great time for introspection. So autumn, release the old. Okay, so let go of all of the things that aren't serving you so that you're ready for this new journey ahead of you. Okay, so again, surrender. So not only surrender your fears, worries, doubts, and all of those things, but release or surrender all of the things that aren't serving you. You know, whether that's limiting beliefs, whether that's self-sabotaging behavior, toxic people, um, an unhealthy job or a job that doesn't serve you or that you don't enjoy it's time to surrender all of those things so that you can start this new journey with energy passion 
and um, desire as well. Um, you know, when we haven't let go of the things that are no longer serving us, they're draining our energy, and you're being asked to live a fully live as a fully conscious being, and we can't do that when we're holding on to things from the past because we're not in the present moment okay so um again you know forgiveness is a good idea um at this time as well okay so there's a lot of determination around you a lot of determination comes in with the queen of wands she's very powerful she can be a little bit manipulative she can be a force to be reckoned with but she's really about focus creativity determination to move things forward to create a better life for herself okay so she is a planner she will plan for her success and that's exactly what the shield maiden is also asking you to do is make plans and focus okay you need a plan to be able to follow the universe is guiding you and it's pushing you in the right direction and it's giving you the opportunities and possibilities but of course we have to take action on it otherwise we're not going to get anywhere okay so use these fiery energies that are going to help you to do that on this journey it's also important to be open to healing information that is going to help you to heal from the past it's going to help you to let go of some of the things that um, you've been holding on to especially you know self-sabotaging behavior limiting beliefs um, toxic relationships all of those kind of energies okay so you can work with the medicine guardian or you can work with archangel Raphael, whatever you know you're drawn to but be open to the information that is coming through for you okay and it's all a part of this journey okay now the whale's energy um the whale wisdom suggests you center yourself through breathing or deepening your meditation practice okay um rise above worldly matters and spread love light hope and inspiration to those around you okay so that's really really important and as you start to do that you're going to see a lot of victory and success around you so really trying to get them out of the sun sorry um really important that you do this okay so that's really really important okay so a quick recap on this okay so there is an exciting new journey ahead of you but it's important that you trust the universe that you have faith and belief that the universe knows what it is that you need and is taking you on a positive journey okay so my happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe okay so that new journey is there for you but first you have to let go of the things that are no longer serving you okay whether that's thoughts feelings beliefs relationships self-sabotaging behavior procrastination you know whatever it is okay and also give up your fears and your worries to the universe okay so you have two cards for giving your fears and worries to the universe okay to live as a conscious being you need to be in the present moment so the past has to be left behind you and it's also important that you spread love joy uh, wisdom inspiration to those around you okay you need some determination to help you to move forward so you have two cards for this it's time to make plans and focus on what it is that you really want and be open to um, healing information that is going to come through for you. You need to create more calmness and positivity in your life. So your affirmations are, I am calm, I am at peace, I'm relaxed and all is well. I live a spiritual, peace-filled life. I sail through life on calm, nurturing waters. I enjoy good health, free from inflammation. And the crystal you can use this week is So Delight. So use visualization, meditation, and aromatherapy to calm yourself. Use these tools to experience peace 
and tranquility. So they're the kind of things that you can help other people with as well. And you're going to see a lot of success and victory coming your way when you're ready to take that leap of faith and leave the past behind you. So I hope you enjoyed your readings this week. Please do let me know how they resonated with you this week. Please do um, also like and subscribe to the channel. And if you click the bell button, you'll get notifications of my next video. I hope you all have an awesome week and I look forward to catching up with you all again next week. Ciao for now.